Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. There's been a fair bit of confusion regarding the Cavriel's Maze in Shimmering Snowflake Cardback Secret. And in this video, I want to take a look at one specific step that lots of people are having problems with. And that, and that step is determining which dungeon you're in after you used your first dynamite in Cavriel's Maze and you have broken free of the initial area. The initial area is the core of the dungeon. There are eight different dungeons. And in the most used map, the dungeons are positioned at the sides of the world. So in this tiny piece of map, I have taken that part of the dungeon that opens up to you after you have used the dynamite and just the first steps of that to determine the proper algorithm so that you can figure out quickly which dungeon you're in. So first you're going to use that dynamite and then after you use that dynamite, there is a tunnel, a tunnel that is two steps long. So those are the orange squares. So you go through the tunnel and then you step outside of the tunnel over here. And then what happens once you're there? How do you figure out which dungeon you're in? First of all, there are two really easy cases. Once you emerge from the tunnel, if you immediately see darkness to your right, or if you immediately see a wall to your right, then you immediately know which dungeon you're in. So if you see the darkness to your right, then you are in the middle right dungeon. Or if you see a wall to your right, then you're in the bottom left dungeon. If you don't see anything when you emerge from the tunnel, take one step up. And once you have taken one step up, if you now see lava, then you're over here. You see lava, one step up, that's the dungeon you're in. If you don't see lava, well, there's two alternatives. You can either see a wall or you can see nothing. If there's still nothing, then you need to take another step up. So from here, you go over there. Now, if you now see lava, you know where you are. You're in this bottom right dungeon. If you don't see lava, if you see a wall instead, then you're in one of these two dungeons. And these two are the trickiest dungeons because they're actually the same for much of the way. You actually need to move all the way to the top of the dungeon. And once you're at the very top of the dungeon, there's an area with darkness in it. And then there's two possible paths. And in one of the dungeons, one of them is a dead end. And in another one, the other is a dead end. So you will not know which one of these two you're in until much further into the dungeon. Or finally, if there is a wall after you have taken one step up from the entrance to this area of the dungeon, then you take one step right. And then you take one step right and either on top of you there's going to be nothing or there's going to be a wall and in either case you know exactly which dungeon you're in so doing it like this you will know which carrier dungeon you started in with just taking two steps so it doesn't get much easier than that i hope this will help you navigate this challenging part of carrier's maze thank you for watching if you enjoyed the content please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.